Hello, Hello guys. guys. We went in the municipality already several times and yeah. we uh, found all requirements. Uh, every time they gave us different answers how to get married, uh, what the requirements uh, are necessary. Yeah. So we made a list uh, for you to save your time and uh, make this uh, easier for you if you go into to marry in the Philippines. So, yeah. Uh, you need to go to local civil register office in municipality hall, barangay hall, or any other government uh, office. Yeah. yeah, where it's located. You need to get Sinomar. Sinomar stays for certificate of no marriage record in the Philippines. Yeah. You need to uh, get it in a PSA. It is uh, Philippine Statistic Authority. Yeah. Yeah. It will cost I know about thousand pesos, so twenty dollars, and you need to get it for both of you. Yeah. Uh, next is birth certificate uh, for your Filipina or Filipino. It is a local certificate. If yeah. uh, you are a foreigner, you need to translate it uh, in uh, your embassy or in another legal uh, company, like in your country. They call it apostille. It is a legal translation with stamps, with uh, QR codes and everything else. So it's legal translation of your document, of your birth certificate. You need to get barangay clearance. You can get it in your municipality hall, barangay hall, city hall. It will cost 50 pesos about. Yeah, yeah. and it is paper about you live in this area. Mm -hmm. So that's what it means. Uh, next point is photocopy of your wallet ID, your passport, driver's license or whatever. Cetera, yeah. Yeah. You can use ID. your field health ID if you don't have any valid ID. Yeah, it's for locals. Yeah. For your Filipina, if she younger than 25 years you need to have uh, parent advice if she younger than 25 but older than 21 yeah. and if she is uh, younger than 20 you need to have parent consent mm -hmm. these documents you can get in civil register uh, in um, uh, your area so yeah. your parents should go there and mm -hmm. make these documents because they cannot just try it by themselves it is official document with uh, Signed by the Signed by official author worker. Authorized yeah. person. Yeah, right. If your parents are already dead, or one of them, you yeah. need to have death certificate. The longest document uh, we were waiting for, it is legal capacity to marry for foreigners. It, it is document about you don't have um, um, marriage in your uh, home country, and you need to make a schedule with your embassy. In some embassies it is really quick, in some uh, quite long. So, yeah. And of course, if you already had uh, marriage before, you need to have um, a widow death certificate. Yeah. For uh, uh, in other cases, if your marriage was annulled, you need mm -hmm. uh, annulled certificate and or divorce. or divorce certificate if it is from another country. So you will need additional documents. Next point is cedula. It is community tax certificate, just payment. So it's yeah. easy part. After collecting all these documents, you need to pass a seminar where you will uh, listen to uh, guys who will tell you about rules in the Philippines, about you cannot uh, abuse your wife mostly. And uh, we passed only two of them. One of them was in Half English, Half Bisaya. Second one was totally Bisaya. And uh, three more, they just signed our paper and that's it. So it, it takes about half day. And after this certificate and collecting all documents, you need to fill a marriage license form. And uh, if everything uh, right and correct, you will get uh, a marriage license uh, after 10 days. With this marriage license, you can go in any uh, place in, uh, in the Philippines. I mean like church, municipality yeah. or some judges. Uh, I mean uh, municipality judges or higher. If and are... yeah, mayor also. Who can do your marriage ceremony and uh, you need to make a schedule uh, in our case it was one time in a week only wednesday so and only one couple in a whole week so better to schedule in a place where it's available and it, it's not necessary to do it at the same place you collected all documents and where you live so you can choose another city or island uh, fly somewhere and for your ceremony you need to have at least two witnesses better more in case uh, someone cannot uh, come 
at that day and uh, better to have three copies of each document uh, somewhere you need two better to have three of them so it's not so easy like in vegas where you can just uh, get drunk and uh, just sign some papers that's it here <laughs> you need to collect documents uh, it will take your marriage will take at least one month for us it took about four months so that's it uh, wish you luck and hope this video was useful to you yeah yeah bye bye